brand new crash test results of alternative powered vehicles show that some of them are among the safest models on the road. So it raises the question, are electric vehicles, which have battery packs and relatively small motors, safer than cars and trucks with internal combustion engines? Phil LeBeau has our story. Crash tests of electric vehicles and a hydrogen fuel cell SUV show three of the models handle a variety of collisions better than many vehicles. In fact, two electric vehicles, the Tesla Model 3 and Audi e-tron, along with the Hyundai Nexo, a hydrogen fuel cell SUV, got the best rating possible from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Chevy Bolt also did well in the crash test, but did not get a top safety rating due to concerns about its headlights. For sure we can say that the vehicles we've recently tested have the same state-of-the-art protection that we see in more traditionally designed vehicles. Most EVs are built with large battery packs positioned on the floor of the vehicle. So models like those built by Tesla have a storage cabin in the front of the vehicle, where a large engine is typically located for internal combustion vehicles. Some believe no engine means a lower chance of passengers being injured in EV collisions, but experts have not reached that conclusion. The fact that the uh, battery can be placed in, in a variety of places, um, maybe with more flexibility than, the, than the, uh, a gas tank, um, does provide the potential to, to make electric vehicles um, safer, um, or at least as safe, if not safer, than, than traditional vehicles. The IIHS also notes the risk of a battery fire after a collision is not a major concern, since the casings holding the batteries have held up well in crash tests. In short, these tests are fresh evidence some electric vehicles look to be as safe as other models. Safety may not be a major issue for those considering an electric vehicle, but supply definitely is. The number of EVs on the market is still relatively low, which is why the number of electric vehicles actually sold in the U.S. is a small percentage of total vehicle sales. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.